for taking the time out to join us this morning. Uh, we have some great information coming your way, so I don't think you'll be disappointed in spending some time with us this morning. So first of all, we're presenting this uh, workshop in partnership with the City of Memphis Office of Business Diversity and Compliance, and we are happy to have Director Joanne Massey here with us to kind of tell a little bit about what they have going on. They have some resources and uh, some things going on with Shopify that may be very beneficial to you all. So I'll turn it on over to Director Massey. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Partee. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Ms. Partee said, my name is Joanne Massey. I'm the Director for the Office of Business, Diversity and Compliance. On behalf of Mayor Jim Strickland and the entire City of Memphis staff, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time this morning to be here with uh, us and our partner, TSBDC, as well as um, our speaker here, which I'm very interested in hearing what she has to say also. Um, as Ms. Partee alluded to, we have a partnership with uh, Operation Hope, and the initiative is called One Million Black Businesses. It is a national initiative that um, Operation Hope has partnered with Shopify. And so I know some of the things that Ms. Uh, McFarland is going to talk to you about. There you go. There's the, um, there is the picture right there. So you can see uh, that partnership with Shopify we are working to help 1 million Black businesses across the country to be able to really pivot, especially during this pandemic, um, and help them to build their online presence. Shopify, through this initiative, is committed to offering uh, free to businesses, 500 businesses in Memphis, a Shopify account. In order to sign up, there's the email address or the, the website address there. You want to just log on there and you can um, sign up to receive services uh, from Operation Hope and through this One Million Black Business Initiative. More information will be rolling out about this um, as we iron out the details with uh, Mayor Strickland's office. So I just want everyone to be on the lookout for that. And I also want to add, uh, not only is Operation Hope partnering with the city of Memphis, and we're committed to 500 businesses here in Memphis, but recently they announced their partnership with Clark Atlanta University, uh, the, another organization in Atlanta, uh, which is similar to ours, the Supplier Diversity Office there for uh, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Uh, her office, and then they're also expanding their uh, programs and services to Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, New York City, and Chicago. So Memphis was the very first city to commit to the One Million Black Business, and so if you want to get more information uh, about this, again, there's the website, or you can contact our office. Uh, my colleague, Taylor Tagg, who's the Senior Business Services Coordinator, is on the call. You can contact either of us at 901-636-9300 or through um, you know, our office located at 480 Dr. MLK Boulevard. Thank you, Ms. Partee, and thank you, Ms. McFarland, for giving me time on your platform here. And again, I look forward to hearing from any of your participants. Thank you. Thank you so much, Director Massey. Uh, those are awesome resources. Uh, and now, without further ado, I will get out of the way. Uh, we are so happy to have Ms. Adrienne McFarland, our own personal e-commerce Shopify expert. So if there's a question you have, I'm sure she can answer it. And if she can't, she will find the answer for you. Uh, and if you have any questions for her, definitely put them in the chat. If, if she doesn't get to them during her presentation, she'll definitely circle back to make sure she gets to them at the end of the presentation. So Adrian, the floor is yours. Oh, I think you're muted. There we go. Can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you now. Okay, perfect. Uh, good morning, everyone. How are you? I am so excited to talk to you about Shopify today. 
Um, I'm a little ball of energy, so just bear with me. Uh, if you're not a morning person, I love the morning. So um, I come alive in the morning time. So it gets me at night and I'm just the first one to, to take a nap. So good morning, everybody. I'm um, Adrian McFarlane and I am a Shopify Empower Coach. And I've been empowered by Shopify, not only because I love the platform, but because I am one of those entrepreneurs who um, use Shopify to really save my business during the pandemic. So today I'm going to empower you to start your business or scale your business using the Shopify platform. But just to um, loosen things up a little bit, and I am such an open book and I love to have fun during these webinars because we've been sitting on them now for a year. I want to tell you a little three things, fun things about me. I like to start my webinars off by saying I graduated from Tennessee State University. I am an advocate for HBCUs. So if you did graduate or attend an HBCU, I would love for you to drop it in the chat just so that we can see who's in the room today. I'm also an advocate for e-commerce and the career options it provides for busy moms. Uh, one reason why I started using the Shopify platform a couple of years ago was because I had a baby and wanted to do something different in my career. And e-commerce was a perfect way for me to be flexible. So um, I'm a big advocate for e-commerce as it relates to, uh, to, to parents. And then I am four foot nine inches. You can't tell, and of course, in a webinar, but I'm four foot nine inches. And I like to say I have superpowers because my personality is bigger than my entire body. So um, I like to have a lot of fun. So let's talk a little bit about Shopify. Um, in this session, I will provide you with a little introduction into Shopify and what we do and what in the tools that we offer. It'll be very high level so that if you are um, thinking about starting a Shopify store or maybe switching platforms, this is a great webinar for you to understand what the functionality is with Shopify and the services that Shopify offers as it may relate to your new, your future business or your current business. So I would love to learn a little bit about the your business. So drop them in the chat so that um, myself as well as others can see uh, what what your business is, who, um, it, it just a website if you <clears throat> or your Facebook page if you're just now getting started or anything. Drop your business in the chat. I want to know a little bit more about you. So, what is Shopify? Shopify is a cloud-based, multi-channel commerce platform designed to help you run your business. Shopify allows you to design, set up, and manage your stores across multiple sales channels, including the web, your mobile phone, social media, marketplaces, brick and mortar locations, as well as the biggest thing that's popping right now, which is a pop-up shop, All right? Running a business means staying on top of lots of moving parts. So Shopify makes this easier for merchants by providing one mission control for their business. As you can see in this graphic, uh, it, is, it tells you a little bit more about the, the Shopify integrated office. But from your Shopify admin, you can keep an eye on all the components of your business, including processing and shipping orders, um, processing and shipping your orders, uh, managing your capital, marketing, analytics, your apps, all of that. So Shopify caters to businesses of all sizes from side hustles up to multi-million dollar corporations. We have 1.7 million merchants in over 175 countries using our platform. And of course that has grown tremendously from, from the pandemic. And then we also have consumers purchasing over $202 billion worth of products from Shopify through our merchants. Um, and one day, hopefully, this is this can become you. So this is just to, um, sorry about that. This just shows you a little bit about uh, some of the, the, the businesses that currently use our platform. You may be familiar with some of them, like T-Mobile, like Yeezy, um, like Kylie Cosmetics. 
All of these are, of course, big corporations that are using our platform, uh, but this just tells you about, about the reach that Shopify has. So let me tell you a little bit about um, how we started. So nearly 20 years ago, our founder Toby created almost by accident Shopify. And at the time, the company Snow Devil that he uh, was running sold snowboards, right? But he became frustrated with the e-commerce software that was on the market at the time. He's a programmer. So he used his, pro his programming background to build his own platform, <clears throat> which is Shopify. So let me tell you a little bit about um, some of the, the worries and things that people say in the myths about using uh, and getting started in e-commerce. We now live in an era, of course you know this, of digitalization. And people are slowly, slowly getting used to technology. I remember years ago, people were afraid of Twitter and you know, you know, all of the Facebook and different things like that and wouldn't put their credit card in. Some people are still hesitant, hesitant about that. But during the digital era, one of the industries that has boomed so much, and I'm pretty sure if you're reading into e-commerce, you know this, but e-commerce on the, on the scale decided during the pandemic, it, it went beyond of what people were actually thinking that it was going to, what it was going to do. So now we're, instead of us being, you know, years ahead of, um, years behind of what we were, were going to be with e-commerce, now all of the different companies are putting out different tools and resources that they wouldn't have put out last year. They, they, they're like five years ahead of the game now. So in this era, people are more thrilled uh, because of this, people are more thrilled about retail and shopping online. You know, we've all, we're all guilty of sitting in front of the computer and shopping and uh, roaming out. And when you can roam outside and go to the store, we'd just rather have it at our doorstep. So tell me some of your, and, and I wish I can, I can't see the chat because I'm new to this. Um, but I would love for you to put some of your challenges in the chat because I would love to know what they are and maybe can address them later or your hesitancy about your uh, starting an e-commerce store. I know that some people are really afraid of the what it will take to build the store, but Shopify is so great at providing a platform that's easy to use for a person that has no HTML coding experience at all. And by far, you can use uh, Shopify if you in, in add HTML, if you are familiar with it, but you don't need it. And by using some of the Shopify help, help resources like our help center or Shopify compass, trust me, it will walk you through everything you need to know when it pertains to Shopify and building your store. So how much does this cost? Let's talk about our prices and our plans. And we'll go over uh, something special with Tammy at the end of the of the of the webinar but let's talk a little bit about it we currently offer three basic types we offer basic shopify and advanced uh, we also have an enterprise level plan called shopify plus for larger businesses but choosing a plan on shopify really comes down to a few key factors and one of those is the number of staff members that you require to use your platform um, the basic plan at $29 allows you to have two staff members, but let's say you are a brick and mortar store and you have an intern and you have a marketing person and operations and you, you may consider going into a the Shopify plan because it offers you the ability to have more people uh, use your Shopify uh, platform. However, you may not need that. You may can run it from, your, from the uh, basic plan and that's because you may be the only one making changes, reviewing reports from your Shopify store. So I want to talk a little bit more about that, the type of uh, advanced reporting and analytics that you get. I am a huge fan of the Shopify basic analytics that it gives you. And with e-commerce, you know, data is key. It is king. So watching what your customers are doing will allow you to really scale your business. But Shopify gives you a very robust um, uh, analytics report. 
okay? And the higher tier plan that you go as your business scales, you'll get more reporting. Um, I, I ha however, know that on the basic plan, if, and we'll talk a little bit more about integrations, but even with just the basic plan, if you have Google Analytics, if you have uh, Constant Contact, all of those integrated into your Shopify store, and we'll talk about that later, that also can give you another robust form of uh, reporting. But on the basic plan, you get great reports. Credit card rates and shipping rates change as you move up in plans. Your shopping shipping rates are more discounted. Third party calculate shipping rates are more discounted. So as you move up and you scale your business, you may want to, to upgrade your plan and you get more from uh, more for your, I guess, your book as you as you grow. So let's talk a little bit about the shop about Shopify in a in a larger scope. Shopify is much more than a simple website or an online checkout. These this diagram tells you a little bit about all of the things Shopify offers. And like I mentioned earlier, Shopify is a platform that allows you to run your business in its entirety from the platform itself. So uh, you have the ability to sell in an online store, on your social media platform, online marketplaces, a retail store, as well as pop-ups. You, you have the ability to market your business using your Shopify platform all in one via your email, your social campaigns, your messaging app, the shop app, and just giving you a little heads up, um, if you are currently using the Shopify platform, August the 15th, and we'll can, we can make sure that you have this information, something's great happening, happening. Facebook Messenger will no longer be available, and they're gonna combine that uh, Facebook Messenger with a, a new um, channel that has your Messenger, your Shop Out app, and your marketing in one place. So again, it's all in one place. Um, you, can man you have the ability to manage your business that would include your orders, your inventory, the staff that use your, your, your platform, your payments, which we'll talk a little bit more about, as well as your shipping inside of your uh, back end on your Shopify platform. Um, analyzing your business, like I mentioned earlier, you can use your data to drive your business. And even on the basic plan, Shopify offers great analytics for you to see what your customers are doing as they uh, visit your store. For example, you, you have, uh, let's say, how many abandoned carts you're getting, and then you adjust your abandoned cart email to add a coupon, which will drive the customer to return to your store. You can do all of this in your Shopify uh, platform. And lastly, we are here to help you so we have 24 seven support, chat, email, um, or phone. So anything that you need help with, Shopify can assist you with, um, once you have your plan, with getting out of any debacles that you may have. So although our roots are in e-commerce and we also enable our users to integrate and sell, their various, and sell through various sales channels such as Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and so on. I don't know how many people on the call today have ever bought anything from any other of these sales channels, um, but when you're thinking about launching your, your store, work with your advisor and your team to understand who your customer is so that you know exactly where or what sales channel works best for your, your product to be sold. You don't have to have all of these integrated into your store. Let's just say you have an audience that's only, um, that's, that can be targeted on Facebook and Instagram only. You don't have to worry about integrating your Pinterest and your Google and your Snapchat and your TikTok. It's just about working with the, per, the your advisor or deciding what your target audience is so that you can figure out what works best for um, for your store. So your sales channels are a great option for you to expand your business and connect with your customers on multi-level 
uh, where they are where they're already spending their money. It allows you to engage with your audience and create potential customers. What I do want to stress here is um, is this simplicity um, of the of connecting your business to a sales channel like Facebook and Instagram. The channels do have eligibility requirements that must be met, and I'm a, I am definitely someone that has experienced this before. So they do have requirements that must be met for you to integrate them, but it's very easy to do once you have your um, once you you meet the requirements. And the instructions are all in your Shopify compass again, and and we're here to help you as well as myself. So two thirds of our merchants. Um, have installed two or more sales channels on their store and your online store is the large your online store is your largest is our largest sales channel okay so um some people like to sell on other platforms like etsy like amazon and i know some people think about what why should i use a platform like shopify could i sell over here one reason why is because if you are looking to build your own brand, that is what Shopify is great. Um, is, it will be great to use uh, for for your business. If you have your own website. You use your you manage all of your own finances. So your online store is your largest channel, right? But point of sale is the second largest channel. That like if you have a brick and mortar store or you do decide to do a pop up shop. Shopify allows you to do that through your your already uh, through their platform. If even if you're already selling online, and then followed by marketplaces and the different sales channels like social media, Facebook, Instagram. So my next slide tells you a little bit um, about the Shopify ecosystem. This is something that I personally have overlooked. A lot of newcomers overlook this when they first start to work with Shopify. Um, so the Shopify ecosystem is much larger than just an online store. The largest component of our ecosystem would be our partner program, which that's how we brought this to you today. And the Shopify app store, and but also includes Shopify payments as an in-house payment gateway, in which we'll talk a little bit more about that. Shopify capital, point of sale, and so on. I'm gonna back up a little bit because I don't have a slide that, that talks about the Shopify app store. Uh, when you have your, your, your online store and you need to use things such as MailChimp or Constant Contact or LimeSpot or any of any, any, any integration that you can use to scale your business, to run your business better, Shopify has a large app store with things that with tools that can be integrated into your store. Some of them are free, some of them are not. Some of them have free plans that you can use. But like I said earlier in your in your store, if you do decide in, in this presentation, if you do decide to use uh, the basic, you can use basic all the way around as long as you have a solid business strategy that can grow, that can grow your business. You don't have to use all paid um, app integrations to be successful. So let's talk a little bit about shipping and fulfillment. So shipping and fulfillment is a key to getting your products to your customers. Drop a two in the drop a two in the chat if you have had your mail um, if you have had mail issues lately. And I'm pretty sure we all have had mail issues. And as a business owner, as an e-commerce business owner, you're going to need to be in tune with that so that you can be able to um make sure that you're conveying that message to all of your customers your potential customers because shipping can play a big part in the growth and development of your business when you're running e-commerce so there are a few options to consider as you formulate your shipping strategy such as free shipping carrier calculated shipping flat rate shipping that you can offer your, your customers but I wanted to talk mostly and about uh, the most commonly used feature, which is our Shopify shipping feature that lets you connect your Shopify account with Shopify shipping carrier accounts. I think the, the best thing about this is that you can track when your customer is receiving 
their items. You can send them text messages. You can do uh, all of this from your Shopify admin, okay? This means with your Shopify shipping carry accounts and discounted um, through the shipping platform, this means that you can display calculated shipping rights that's from USPS, UPS, um, instead of flat rates to your customers, you give you can give them options. Um, and all of this comes to you as checkout. And then you also receive reduced or discounted rates for your shipping labels through Shopify shipping. And you can print your shipping labels directly from your platform. All of this can be managed on your own. It's very simple. And we have help and resources that you can read and learn about, including leaning on me to understand how you can create a great shipping strategy which after someone purchased something from you that's going to be key to making sure that your e-commerce business is successful no one likes to pay for something and not receive a product right so let's talk about shopify pay now we are all the mostly everyone's doing this but we are all guilty of this as well we add our card to a platform and then it becomes very easy for us to pay for anything, right? So this is exactly what Shopify Pay is. I mentioned our in-house payment gateway called Shopify Payments, but we also offer a sufficient uh, tool called Shopify Pay. And as a shopper myself, Shopify Pay makes it very easy for me to spend my money online safely and quickly. No running around and looking for a credit card. So Shop Pay is an accelerated checkout method that allows customers to save their email address, credit card, shipping, and billing information so they can complete their transaction faster the next time they are directed to a Shopify checkout. This can save your customers time when they check out. Essentially, if they're um, looking for, essentially if they're um, trying to purchase, purchase uh, faster, for example, let's say they buy uh, candles from one store that uses Shopify and they add all of their information there. And then they wanna say, they come to you the next day and they want to shop at your boutique and buy clothes. If they save their information and you have ShopPay installed, their information will automatically populate at checkout. And the way it works um, as well is that their, their information is stored. So you don't have to worry about that and it's PCI compliant. So we don't have to worry about their information being, um, being shared anywhere. I also wanna highlight this and it's not in my presentation, I should have put it there, but I know there has been a lot of credit card fraud across a lot of platforms um, uh, uh, everywhere lately from the pandemic, but Shopify is really great at verifying what credit card a user used so that you don't have to worry about that. When you have your, in your admin uh, in, on the back end, you're able to see the uh, risk potential level of any customer that purchased with the credit card. So it will warn you that mm, these addresses aren't matching. You may need to watch out for this, or mm, this person has been making thousands of purchase, thousands of dollars purchases with this card, it has something on it, a ding or anything like that, it's gonna warn you of the risk that can save you a lot of time, effort with putting out um, financial fires with your business. So let's talk a little bit about um, uh, the Shopify point of sale integration. Now this is for anybody that's uh, like wanting to run a pop-up shop or have has a brick and mortar store. So when you're using the point of sale channel, this integrates directly with the rest of the Shopify sales channels you may be using. This means that your inventory, your sales reports will be synced up to date at all times. And I know for anyone that's running a brick and mortar store um, or have or running an online store and wants to do a pop-up shop, you're, de you're definitely gonna wanna know what you have in stock and what you don't. And so the POS system talks to one another to keep all of that stuff in, in, um, on track for you. So regardless of where you're located, as long as you have internet access, 
you'll have the ability to use the Shopify point of sale app, which can be installed on an iPad or an iPhone to start selling in person. Our point of sale channel is the only solution that gets the omni-channel experience. Now that means it, what that means is that uh, your point of sale is automatically going to sync with your online store's inventory, your sales analytics, and your reports. So instead of having to manage your inventory manually, it's going to manage your inventory automatically, which can save you so much time, effort, and money in the end. Okay. So um, you want to be able to have your focus and energy towards the aspects of your business, like acquiring more sales or building a loyalty program for your frequent shoppers. During the, um, the first initial phase of our lockdown between like March and April, retailers <clears throat> retailers who are already using Shopify, uh, they managed to place like 94% of their revenue by use by, um, by, by, by also by closing the doors of their online stores, by when they close their, door, their doors, I'm so sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> their online sales uh, and closing their doors, they were able to increase this by using our point of sale app. So 94%, um, that's, that's huge. So let's talk a little bit about Shopify Capital. Now, Shopify Capital is for, of course, qualified businesses, but if you live in the United States or Canada, and need additional funds to develop your business, then you might be eligible for funding directly from Shopify. And, and this is through a cash or an advance loan. So if you're eligible for funding from Shopify cap Capital, then you will see a pre-qualified window that'll pop up inside of your dashboard. And if you click apply, then it could typically take two to five business days for your application to be processed. If you're approved, then you can receive the money in your business bank account within two business days. If you're eligible for funding from Shopify Capital, then you will see an invitation with your available funding options on your home page. Um, if you don't want to deal with going through the process of going through a bank and wanting to focus on your business and or a bank loan felt like it was um, cumbersome, Shopify Capital or restrictive, Shopify Capital is a different mentality and it's easy. And um, if you're eligible, you could definitely apply for something like this to assist you with scaling your business. So finally, I just wanted to leave you with a quote from a Shopify user. As our business evolved, our needs as retailers changed. It was really nice that Shopify allowed us to fill all the needs as we grew. As a platform, to have all that in one place is invaluable. And that is what the heartbeat of Shopify is. Having everything you need to start and scale your business in one, one platform can save you so much time. It can save you so much headache in learning something new because I know something like this can be very intimidating. But here at Shopify, we understand that the e-commerce e is forever changing. There's new things coming out every day, guys. And as we saw earlier last year, obstacles will be thrown at us and we'll be forced to react. And we're here to help you maneuver through those obstacles, okay? And so feel free, as always, to contact your advisors. Work with me, work with me, work with Shopify in order to maneuver the obstacles and help you succeed. So these are some of the resources and links that Shopify offers. And I know in the reporting you will have this, but I'll also make sure that you guys get these links. But Shopify Help is our help center. It, again, 24-7, you can contact Shopify via chat, email, or phone. Shopify Compass, which, again, that's our e-learning platform. And from starting your store to search engine optimization, content marketing, and we'll, we'll have uh, more webinars about these things as we break down the Shopify, um, the Shopify resources over the next couple of weeks. But I definitely challenge anyone that's looking to start a e-commerce business to please visit shopify.com slash compass because this is going to be a great tool to give you the resources, the knowledge 
at least on a basic level about what you're getting into and how you can actually launch your store. And then we have a Shopify compass, I mean, Shopify podcast that you can listen to maybe on the go or while you're doing other work that gives you real life testimonies for, testimonials from people that are running uh, Shopify stores like myself. And then we have burst.shopify.com, which is a uh, website that allows you to um, give your, give you, that gives you um, stock photos that will help you build your Shopify store. So of course you can use platforms like Adobe Stock, but Shopify Burst allows you to use some of their free pictures and uh, that will help you get started. And then Hatchful is a logo creator and uh, you can use your, if you don't have a logo, if you're not using like Canva or, or Adobe, you can use Hatchful.Shopify.com uh, to do that. Uh, one other thing about Burst, and the resources is that if you need to resize something for your Shopify store, you can do that as well. And you'll want to look into that because uh, just a little e-commerce tip is that the, the faster your store runs, which on your Shopify e-commerce platform, it will tell you exactly how fast or slow your Shopify store is running. The faster that it runs, the better it is when you have it search engine optimized, optimized for Google. So making sure that your file sizes for your pictures and your videos that you use in your template are correct can can definitely speed your store up or if they're not right they can slow them down and the good thing about it is shopify tells you exactly what size they need to be they will resize them for you okay so creativity is a wild mind and a uh, and a disciplined eye and I just wanted to close with this uh, because we can get so creative with our shop, with our stores, with our Shopify stores. But if you are not disciplined to uh, actually building it and learning the different um, steps that you need to take in order to launch your store, uh, it's like your store can go into a black hole. And we don't want that. So uh, the black hole is similar to putting a website out there and no one ever sees it. And the best way to do this is to, to make sure it doesn't fall down a black hole, is to make sure that you educate yourself because Shopify does provide all of those leads for you to read about how to make your, your store successful. So please, if you need anything, if you have questions about the Shopify platform, please reach out to myself or your advisors so that we can assist you with navigating your, your e-commerce um, business plan. Add me on LinkedIn and I'll have a share things from time to time, but we are hosting additional uh, Shopify webinars and Facebook content marketing webinars with the SPDC. So I look forward to seeing everyone uh, next time. Thank you so much, Adrian, for all that awesome information. Um, before we get into questions, I am so happy to announce that the TSBDC in partnership with Bank Corp, Corp South has been able to create a scholarship fund to provide one year subscriptions to Shopify for our clients. So we are so happy to be able to do that. So that will give you a whole year to get your, your shop up and running, learn the basics, the ins and out, outs, what works for you, and to really start bringing in that revenue. So uh, Monday will be, you will receive more information on how to apply for that, for that, uh, that scholarship. Um, so, so I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Adrian, I'm sorry. No, 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 I was just looking through the chat. I didn't know if you were going to say more about the scholarship. Nope. I was going to jump right into those questions that, that we got in the chat. Okay. Um, so I see, Gail, how to get people to find our Facebook and Etsy site. Will Shopify be better than Etsy? I cannot say what will be better. I am personally a Shopify Empower Coach, so I definitely am an advocate for Shopify, but I know that some certain people are looking to or have used other platforms. 
And I can say this, if you are looking to build a brand and you have full control over everything that your consumer sees, it's like, um, or uh, wanting to take full profit for everything that you have, I would say uh, definitely the Shopify is a better platform for you. And then if you are selling on Facebook, of course, like I mentioned, the different sales channels that you can have with your Shopify store, they all integrate. So you can sell on multiple things um, outside of just your, your, your Shopify store. Okay, uh, who is this? Let's see. I'm gonna go up here. Sorry, I got a lot of questions. Let's see here. Um, saw something. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so uh, Morgan Lee, you said that I'm having trouble driving traffic to my shop. Social media is is slow grow, definitely. Um, so coming up with a traffic, um, a way to tra drive your traffic is. Uh, definitely a strategy that's trial and error with with having an e-commerce store. Uh, one of the strategies that I like to allow, uh, I like to tell clients is that, and if you have the budget to do this by all means, but uh, two things. One, I would say drive some paid traffic to your website first with your idea of your target market so that you can see exactly and, and have enough data to see exactly what your customers or what your potential customers want, how they are uh, navigating through your, your website. And this just gives you an idea about the traffic that's going there is for paid traffic. But the best thing uh, to do is coming up with one strategy first that you can do consistently and there's one marketing strategy that you can do consistently because when people say I'm having trouble driving traffic usually your marketing efforts are not up to par so definitely um, one you could you could use some paid ads if your target market is using Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or uh, any of the marketplaces out there if you can drive some ads whether they be through Google as well, See if you have some traffic coming from that. And then um, if that, and, and analyze the data, but also coming up with a clear marketing strategy. One thing first, test it, see if it works, see if it brings strategy, strategy uh, customers to you. And if that strategy works, repeat it. That's the key. But we're gonna talk about um, marketing more in the next webinar. Let's see. Um, What's the difference in using Shopify versus the e-commerce features of a business website, or do you integrate them? Um, Shopify versus the e-commerce features of a business website, explain it to me a little bit. Is it like a service website versus an e-commerce website? Just to, I think what you mean is just the features of an e-commerce. E-commerce means uh, selling a, a product online. If you just have a business website that doesn't have uh, payment gateway. Um, this this is what Shopify will allow you to to do. But not only that, it gives you that entire, uh, like I mentioned, the ecosystem, that entire um, ecosystem of how you can manage your business from the sales channels to marketing to shipping and fulfillment, from the beginning of your customer's journey to the end of your customer's journey. Um, let's see here in your Amazon store. You do not tie in your Amazon store to your Shopify store. They're two separate e-commerce platforms. Um, if you're trying to use point of sale and it directs you to use a pin during setup, where does that pin come from? I have never set a pin for that app. It also doesn't give me an option to set it up once I download the app. So if you are using, having a uh, hosting, um, a pop-up shop will be the only, or if you are or if you have a brick and mortar store, will be the only reason why you'll use that pin. It doesn't give me the option to set up once I download the app. So I can help you with that. Just uh, let's set up some time and we can talk about um, how to set up your point of sale. This says yes. Um, I think that's all of the questions. Tammy, do you see any more questions? I wanna make sure that I'm getting everybody. 
I know you got all that I saw. Okay. But yes, everyone, if you have more questions, feel free to uh, send them to me um, via LinkedIn, or I can definitely make sure that you guys receive my contact information and I'm open to answering any questions that you have. But please do join us for the next couple of webinars. This is like the beginning. If you're deciding to run a Shopify store or sell e-commerce, this webinar is definitely used for you to decide what's going to be best for you. And then we're going to take you on a journey of building your store over the next couple of weeks. So join us for the uh, next couple of webinars, and I think you'll get some, some really great information. Thank you so much, Adrian, for your time in this awesome presentation. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. Hopefully, you got a lot from the information that was shared. Uh, as Adrian said, do feel free to reach out to her if you have additional questions or reach out to your TSBDC advisor. Uh, they can definitely put you in contact with Adrian as well. And also look for, like she said, our upcoming workshops that we're having with Adrian. Um, again, she is the expert. So if you have a question, that's the person that you want to talk to. So we look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks and uh, you all have a great rest of your day.